And he scored. Is he offside? Is he offside? Is he offside? It's their first chance. It looks like they've carved his, carved his open. We're looking at... So I don't know. It looks like it might be a goal. I reserve judgment here. It looks very easy for Liverpool. One pass. Lindelof pulled out. Two passes. He's onside. Salah. Luke Shaw. Nobody's picking up. Where's the fucking midfield again? Where's Fred and McTominay? That is useful as tits on a nun. Why are they not following Cater? Why are they not following Cater there? Midfield again. Absolutely terrible. Why have they not got... Why, why, why? Runner from midfield, all on McTominay and Fred again. Ridiculous. He's clueless. He's absolutely clueless clicking them. He's absolutely clueless. I keep saying this week after week after week as well. It's not about them not being able to pass. They can't. They never pick up the run. How many times have we had this conversation? It's going back to Everton last year when it was 3-3. They don't pick up the runners from midfield. People think it's, oh, it's McTominay again. For fuck's sake. Firmino. David De Gea with the save. McTominay nearly cost him as another goal. 2-0. It is, it's 2-0. It's bloody 2-0 as well. It's too easy and it's 2-0. And that's Harry Maguire now. It's catching. It's like a bloody virus. It's unbelievable. Bloody useless. What are you took? What, 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 what's the plan? Get out. What is the plan? Oh, we must start off with some authority. What's Maguire and Shaw doing? It's like Spurs all over again. Who's picking up Trent and it's onside again? It's a bloody tap-in. Who's picking up Trent? Where's Rashford? Where the fuck is Rashford? Who's not? You know what? Ricky's right. You can't just play two wide forwards on the wing because they don't track back. What's Maguire and Shaw doing? Where's Marcus Rashford? Where's fucking Fred again? It's Cater. It's a bloody shambles. People will blame Maguire and Shaw, right? Of course, it's nothing to do with the hair again. Cater's a big part of it. He's a fucking midfielder. Fred's not there again. Where's Rashford tracking Trent? We're a bloody shambles here. An absolute shambles. Tits on a nun, FC. Absolutely bloody useless. I'm telling you now. I I'm, I'm keeping a mental note here. Why is Rashford not tracking Trent? Why is Cater being un unmarked again by Fred or, or McTominay? People are going to blame Maguire and Shaw. But look at the people involved in the goal. Cater, where's the midfield? Trent, where's Rashford? 2-0 down again. 15 minutes gone. Oh, this could be, it could be anything. John, and this goes beyond individual players. The errors uh, in our team are systematic. We could change the full 11 and still have the same problems as Nathan Brown. Oh, look at that from Liverpool. Firmino, if they go wide again, Jota, Salah, Keita, Salah. Oh, it's over. It's over. Forget it. It's absolutely over. He's, he's got to go. He's got to go. I'm, uh, that's it. That's the match. 3-0, 37 minutes. Too easy. Pulled apart. Absolutely all over the place. It's dreadful. It's absolutely dreadful. And it's another goal where I'm watching it back. Cater. 1-2, Salah. It's just, it's just pass and move football. And it's it's bloody Cater again. Who's marking Cater? He's... Tell you what, get the mayor of Manchester because he needs the freedom of Manchester. He's bloody had it all game. Who's marking Cater? Every goal, Cater's been free. Do we think he's got COVID or something? It's like social distancing on Cater. It's bloody ridiculous. I've never seen such a bloody shambles as this. It's like they don't mark. 
Ah, I tell you what, nobody predicted this. 3 0 at half time against your biggest rival at Old Trafford. And the fucking owners want us to sing songs. You're not a real fan if you get moody and you criticise. What a prat you look like now, Manchester United Football Club. What a prat you look like now, Ollie. All oh, those fans know better than to booers. They fucking know better than you. They know better than you, mate. This is a bloody shambles. You got away with it against Villarreal. You got away with it against Atalanta. Even if we come back and win this 4-3 or 3-0. Get Thank you. Give him time. Give him time. We're back in 1989. Get this fraud out of the club. Always going to be a legend as a player, but not good enough, says Ethan. If we lose, we lose. It's the way we are losing. It's embarrassing to watch. Um, I think we'll concede more. Salah, it's 4-0. Oh, fucking hell. It's time to go, mate. It, I'm sorry. I'm not, I tell you what, I'm not ranting on this goal because I think it does me and nobody else any favours. Like, if I start ranting, I'll come across as a dickhead. It's time to go. Like, somebody in that football club, do something. Zidane, get him in. You're up against Klopp. You're up against Pep. You're up against Tuchel. This ain't messing about. You've got Cristiano Ronaldo, Rafael Varane, Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford, Paul Pogba, Mason Greenwood. He's benching Pogba. He's benching a £74 million player. He's picking a couple of players that wouldn't get in a Newcastle midfield in the midfield. We're 4-0 down. We've taken 14 points from 27. One from 12. And you think we're on the right path. You're as bad as him. You're worse. Glazer's out. Sack Ollie. Now. It's got to it's gotta go. He's got to go. You can't be 4-0 down. This is one of the worst results. In our history, we're 4-0 down at Old Trafford at half-time to Liverpool. You can sing Ollie's at the wheel if you want. He's got to go. It's humiliating. That's the, that's the walk of shame. I feel for him. I feel gutted for him. That is a club legend, and he's walking into that. It's a, it may, I just feel very, very sad. Very, very sad. And I knew I would feel sad. When this happened and you will have people all over social media calling them a Wally, calling them a PTP teacher, being vile. And we know who these people are because, you know, ultimately it's about them being right. That is a club legend who has been. So what to expect this second half? I mean, Pogba's just lost it in the middle. He could have slipped in Yotta. He slips in Salah. 5-0. That's Pogba's fault. 5-0. I mean, it's he's got a hat-trick. Salah's got a hat-trick at Old Trafford. Paul Pogba stuck on it in the middle. The crowd, the ground, the ground's gonna empty. Like the crowd, the ground will empty. It's just <laughs> I ain't got nothing left to start shouting anymore. Yeah. Do you want an analogy? They're about as useful as a solar powered torch. Yeah, I've got loads of those. But at the end of the day, I haven't got much more to say. Maguire looks like he's running through porridge. Salah just never looks in any trouble. David De Gea has conceded five goals and couldn't do anything about any of them. And it's just men against boys. It's it's a shambles. And the, the scary thing is the club aren't the club are so thick. They weren't expecting this. They haven't even had it. They, they won't have had any phone calls. There'll be nothing in. They won't have prepped anything. They won't have a bloody clue. Well, there'll be, a, you know, at best, they'll probably go for another interim. It'll be Darren Fletcher, interim manager, or something stupid like that. Well, I wonder if any ex-players are comfortable enough to not be biased now. Or are they still going to put their mates first? Kenny Dalglish is laughing his head off. Sir Alex Ferguson looks devastated. The thing is, we talk about history and we talk about recovery. And 
We were never. We were never. We, I don't. I don't think we've ever been in this position against Liverpool. Sixties, seventies, eighties, nineties. Well, certainly not. We've never been in this situation. This is as low as it gets. This is lower than a worm's arse. This is. This is. This is not. It's. It's almost. It's so low you can't rant. This is must. This must be what it was like for Arsenal when they lost eight two. It gets to a point where you just like I can't. I, what what can you say?